how limited would our opportunities be if we had just one ideology? How boring would our music be if we just had one beat? But if you stop and you think about it, in some respects, a lot of times we just roll with one single story to define the experience that we're supposed to have or to define a scenario that we're supposed to glean wisdom from. What's happening, y'all? This is Mike D with Black Fathers Now, where we're bringing the village to the brothers. Every couple of weeks, you can look forward to a quick inspirational message or a thought-provoking guest with knowledge and wisdom all geared towards helping you be the best father that you can be. We're bringing the village to you. Now is your turn to do something with what you learn. All right, y'all. Let's go. What's going on, fellas? This is Coach Mike D, your favorite personal development coach, Mr. Double Down on You, with another quick episode of Black Fathers Now. Now, you know, today's episode, as I mentioned, is going to be quick, but it's something that I want you to think about. You know, if you uh, go online and you Google Chimamandi Adichie's Danger of the Single Story, it's her talk on, um, it's her TED talk. You can find it. And I encourage everyone to watch that TED talk. I mean, it's an amazing discussion about how a single narrative is dangerous. But as dads, as men, as brothers who are desiring to be the best version of ourselves, we need to be mindful to not only take one story. We need to be mindful to not only take one story. You know, when you think about narratives, when you think about perspectives, when you think about ideas, how crazy would our world be if we only had one perspective how limited would our opportunities be if we had just one ideology how boring would our music be if we just had one beat but if you stop and you think about it in some respects a lot of times we just roll with one single story to define the experience that we're supposed to have or to define a scenario that we're supposed to glean wisdom from. It's interesting, when you put it in that context, how boring would your world be if you only had one thing, one perspective? You know, how boring would eating be if you just had one type of food and that's it, right? Like, I mean, it would be crazy. You know, they say variety is the spice of life, but when you think about information, wisdom, perspectives, ideology, understanding, context, it is extremely important to pull from multiple sources so that you can formulate a really accurate depiction, especially if you are not present. So when we read stories, when we read biographies, when we watch movies, when we see biopics of this and of that, usually Those are from one or very few people's perspective. So the reality is, is that completely true? Probably not. It's true in the eyes of those that wrote it. It's true in the eyes of those that are directing or filming it because that's their personal experience. But the reality is, if you ask someone else that was involved, they might give you a completely different take on it. And that in lies the danger of the single story because a lot of times we just take one story we run with it one ideology and we run with it one perspective and we run with it and if that one perspective regarding context does not match up to what's needed that perspective you want it to be helpful but it could actually be dangerous so fellas As you grow, as you're becoming the best version of who you are, I'm going to encourage you to not fall victim to the single story. Make sure you open yourself up to see things from multiple angles, from different contexts, from different vantage points, from different sources. 
so that you can then formulate an understanding of what it is you're researching or learning about and you can take that and really apply it in a way that best fits the situation and that's only going to come when you don't rely on just one single story one single narrative one single source all right well i hope this is something for you to really think about because um it's very interesting you know what i'm saying like when you really think about life and our experiences you know we have to pull from a lot of different things so that we can really gain understanding now spiritually you know i do believe that the bible is a source right i believe that that's the root to you know my understanding of life and how things come about but i also rely on spiritual leaders and life experiences and various perspectives to get understanding of the Bible. So yes, the Bible is a source for me, but I go through various means and have various conversations and connect with different individuals so that I can have better understanding of what's written in the Bible. But then I also compound that with personal experience and my own spiritual time with God. So it's like even there, it's the single source of the Bible, yes, but I'm getting multiple perspectives so that I just don't look at something and say, hey, this is it. Because the reality is there are parts of the Bible that are supposed to be completely used as doctrine. But then there are other parts that are supposed to be inspirational and used as wisdom for us to, in, a, in the proper context, apply to our life in a different way. But and it's also written, you know, a few thousand years ago. So we have to take all of that into consideration. But we also have to open ourselves up to be able to look at things from different angles so that we can get the proper context. Because it, when it really comes down to it, or when, you know, the end of the day, you want to get to the point where you can take information, insight and wisdom and be able to use it appropriately in the context of your life. And sometimes when we just have one single story, that becomes difficult. So when you have knowledge that you can actually apply, that's wisdom. And the ultimate goal in all of this is wisdom. You know, when I end the, uh, the podcast episodes, I always end with you all be blessed, well and wise. I didn't say blessed, well and smart. Blessed, well and wise, because I want you to be able to take that smart stuff and use it appropriately. All right. Well, hey, uh, I guess until next time, <laughs> y'all be blessed, well, and wise. Y'all have a great day. I'll holler at you. Peace. Yo, fellas, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. And always, always, always visit blackfathersnow.com as well as follow Black Fathers Now on virtually every social media platform you can think of Instagram, Facebook, Twitter everywhere just follow us and uh and engage with us man look forward to hearing from you and uh i guess until next time i'll holla at you peace